In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a very basic square box map. We're going to start with a cube. You've seen it show up there. Let's change the size of it. We want the ceiling to be 2,000. And the walls, 4,000 each. Now we've got a good size square there. Now we have to subtract subtract it. First you do intersect, then subtract. Always that's the case. Now we're going to go inside. We're going to add a player start. Right click, add player start here. <clears throat> now these are default textures. We're going to put in something else. Let's go to file open just put something in here let's make a brick wall right click apply texture right click apply, 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 apply texture or you can hold down the shift key and click on the wall okay now I want to select all four walls that I just did. I'm going to click one, then hold the control button while I click the other walls. That will select all. There, now all the walls are selected. Let's right click, choose properties. I'm going to scale it. Let's try four. That's pretty good. and you can move it sideways or up and down if you hold the shift key and press the up and down you can see how it goes the other way okay I like it right there there there's our walls now for a ceiling. Go up to texture. Hmm. Now we'll use this one. Ah, eh, why not? And on the floor, let's say we have a rock floor. There. Oh, now you got to be careful when you're making a map because a floor like this would tend to be distracting while trying to play. You can scale it. That's not doing a whole lot. Now, I don't like my floor there, so we'll put in. Now let's try this one. There, that's better. So now we have a box and a player start. Now if you when you're playing online you have to have lots of player starts, so your map would have to have at least, you know, ten player starts, ten to sixteen player starts. So you add a bunch of those. But just for now Every time I build a map, I go into the level properties, zone light, ambient brightness, and I bring that up. What this does is when I build a map, you have to build map every time you want to save it and test it out. When I do it with the ambient brightness, I don't have to add light bulbs. <laughs> it puts an overall light throughout the map so now I've built the map now I gotta save it save as let's uh, save it as my new map zero one 
Okay, we're all saved. This here, we're in the outside space looking down at the map. That'll be it.